Yeah. Well, ladies and folks, over at Blues Moves Radio, we're here backstage at the uh, Rips and Blues Festival, and uh, Eric Sardinas was gently enough to invite us in his backstage draft before his gig First at uh, Rips and Blues Festival. You don't seem like a nervous guy before you get on the stage, are you? Nervous? Uh, no. Excited? Yes. Yes. That's, uh, no, you it, it, I, you gotta have a little bit of the butterflies, right? Uh, that's okay, it's natural, that's part of music. But it's, uh, I'm comfortable being around so many good, uh, good friends and a, a place where good music is, so that, that's pretty comforting. superstitious I don't care oh everybody's superstitious you know yeah I just like to get my center and make sure my guitars are here and uh, just uh, play a little bit and get on stage and just do what we do we like to kind of fly by the seat of our pants and never do the same song the same way twice you've heard what the, 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 the other guests are playing are you nervous to play your kind of blues here because you already got more power into it than what you heard now no not so much not so much because uh, I can, where I come from uh, in the traditional sense of blues it's all it's all in there so I'm very comfortable with uh, with myself within the music so this is a festival that's really about music so if you like blues and you like rock and roll you know that's where I am Uh, pretty much inspiration comes from me just pr pretty much through travels in life and you know I, I never run short of inspiration because every day is an adventure so you know you just dig, dig a little deep in yourself and uh, see what's always around you and some things that uh, that you hope no longer are or uh, you hope someday will come you know you got your bottleneck or still on your little pinky yeah, <laughs> is, I woke up with this song. is that a superstition one uh, no, it just uh, but it is uh, it is something I like to keep close to me before the show. So, yeah, acclimate, acclimate. Yeah. yeah. If somebody else give you a beer glass or any uh, pastrix of the, the the plastic ones, uh -huh. are you able to kind of play on uh, something like that, or uh, you got to leave the bronze one? No, I've pretty much used anything from a from a beer can to a <laughs> this is beautiful from a beer can to a pool ball. So it doesn't matter. But as far as uh, as my slides, I like to have my, my mojo with me. My mojo, that's, a, that's an old blues expression. Sure, absolutely. I got lots of them. <laughs> One extra then? Eh? One extra blues expression for you. Oh, when, when you got something heavy on your mind, you got a jinx around your bed. Jinx, that you have to explain to me because I'm a, I'm a white blues boy. Jinx is almost like a hoodoo way of saying a, a curse or something around you. Just a, um, can we expect a new CD from you soon, any soon? Yeah, well, we're still finishing up uh, touring and supporting this album, the Big Motor album. So uh, we're hoping to record here something towards the end of the year. So that's, uh, that's in our plans.
I'm gonna play music like that. Which, which inspiration do you get from uh, which artist? A lot. It depends what what decades of music we're talking about. But like, I really enjoy the pre-war blues. You know, Charlie Patton, Bucka White, Barbecue Bob, early Chicago blues like Elmore James. You know, when the electricity started really mi mixing in actual electricity, not the human aspect, but the uh, the actual um, crossover time. That that's that's really powerful. But pretty much anybody who's uh, who's fusing and doing something with the blues that's inspiring to me. That's that's really what what influences me. Yeah, child, do you want to treat me right? Another question, uh, European or American blues, is there any difference? Not really, not really. I mean, I think the inspiration and the, and the heartbeat of what blues is, the way people approach music is really as unique as your fingerprint. You know, everybody does, does what they do th uh, their own way, no matter what their inspirations or where they live. Uh, you can always hear where it comes from, and I think that that's one thing that really ties it all together. You know, as long as someone's heart's involved, there's really not that much. And uh, if it's if it's not involved, it comes to light pretty quickly. So, well, that we heard that answer before in the blues. Anyone who said, if your heart is there, everything is there. It's going to be you a lot of fun. It. We're looking forward to it. So, thanks for the interview. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. so much for letting us be part of your evening. This is a very special festival and what a beautiful weekend we have. Thank you so much y'all.